Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Terror Mark 3. It is now dual shielded. The uh, weapon system has been pushed to the back. No wonder it wasn't bloody fine. That actually explains a lot to me. I was wondering why it wasn't engaging in combat. And I actually begun to realise that it is, in fact, the bigger brother of the Needler. If you actually look at the design, the Terror is definitely the Needler uh, next generation. Obviously, this is just a uh, eight-man crew. This is an eighteen-man crew. So it's got two shield jets. It's got two point defense on the side. The lasers at the back. I was genuinely wondering why I wasn't doing anything. I was using it as a field test against the missile uh, station. I was like, why is it dying? Now we also have an issue. If you look carefully over here, you will see beep, 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 beep. Those are civvy ships wanting to dock. I'm nearby, so they're all hanging out over here. I cannot hit them. I've also upgraded the carriers. You can see it's a little bit bigger. There's not much in it. I cannot hit them. They are too far away and too fast. I have officially realised I need to build some kind of fast interception ship. This can only do about 35. There's obviously the space. I could probably make it more powerful as time goes by. I could even probably just up it to actually have bigger engines. But the uh, the Terra Mark III is obviously not the best design. So I'm always going to change it. But yeah, it works. I'm still working on it. Obviously, the paint scheme's temporary. But I'm getting there. It is what it is. But if I want to hit the enemy target, I require additional power. Additional, additional power, so this is still mostly unbuilt. It's, it's fun. In fact, give it that for now and that for now. I'm going to give you two large thrusters. I'd like to see what you can do. If you can catch up to the enemy targets, I'd be super happy. So if this can engage the civvy ships, I will suddenly have massive amounts of resources. Because the wanted tag will not disappear until the enemy disappears. And the enemy is right next to me. So they're constantly reminded that I exist. There we go. Look at that. Eats it. So if I can get this to engage any of them and kill a few, I'd be really, really, really pleased. But as you can see, they're a little bit faster than me. Now I might be able to catch a couple. Like that one seems to be slowing down. That one's not moving. That's not a good sign, is it? Not a good sign at all. But yeah, see this? Now with 80. Trouble is, most of my crew will now just be feeding the engines. Beautiful in name only is unarmed, flip, and crush. But I am making my own version of a good ship. And I like it. I do like it. The problem is, of course, it's not the best ship. It was okay for what it is. Let's pull out a little bit further. There we go. But yeah, so the energy is going to be an issue with those big engines. This now requires larger crew. And that's fine, I guess. But it just means this ship will require a bigger crew. Which means it might start becoming an actual destroyer or something. But we have targets. We have new threats. I can work on this. I can make a interceptor variant of this. I can definitely make an interceptor variant of this. The beautiful name only is now mine. Good. Trouble is, now I have to find the rest of them. So we are now fully engaging in the piracy. Also, I've had to turn off the beeping noises so it doesn't slow down when it beeps anymore. Because as you saw, there's a few of them. So we're going to have a terror variant which is engaging the enemy. We're going to have a terror variant. Oh god, the engines just turned off a lot now because of how it's built. Oh my god, the beeping. We have a terror variant which uh, gets the enemy. We're going to have a terror variant which is actual proper ship. But the terror which obviously is the interceptor will be my civilian raider. There will be a raider variant and there will be an actual combat variant. So this is now going to be the raider variant. So I'm going to quickly alter it. And then we'll be G to G. So obviously this power, I don't think it actually needs the shields. So we get rid of the shields and just have this straight up being a raider. That would be great. That would be grand. That would be glorious. Now let me go grab those resources with my partially built support carrier because I ran out of resources. 
because the wanted bounty thing never leaves now, I don't actually care about enemy bounty ships. We'll only get another wanted bounty if it goes away. So as long as I'm upsetting the locals, I'm going to be losing reputation with them. But they will never send another bounty ship against me. So currently, all civilians are my oyster. All of them. Especially this one I'm about to come up on. So the Raider class is now really good. But obviously, yeah, the engines are going to be using a lot of power. Which is a shame, but it is what it is. What are you? Okay, courier, up, pick that off. But there you are. Raider class. It's raiding. So the Raider class, if I put in a storage back here, that'll be even better. So let's, yeah, the Raider class is now officially full on Raider. However, I'm going to be cutting out the bit where I'm speeding things up because the BP will make you go crazy. Bloody hell, I'm already going insane myself. So let's cut this up and meet back. So I'll be honest, I'm straight up cannibalizing chunks of my ship. I need the resources. So I'm just cannibalizing entire chunks of my main ship. I'm going to get some more of these active units running. Obviously my carrier requires more carrier based things. Oh my god, the beeping. But, if I'm going to get a couple more raiders out, they're now called the Infernum. The Infernum class is now officially a thing. And as soon as I get more of them going, it's going to be done. However, uh, yeah, I require a lot more tri-steel. Which we don't have much of. So this is being cannibalised as well. You may notice a theme here. Basically, I'm cannibalising my entire fleet to grab more resources while I still care. Is that a smart thing? Probably not. But, you know, I'm doing it. So, yeah. We are straight up cannibalising entire chunks of my ship. Oh, no wonder I'm having... What is all of this? There's also a minor issue. If I copy and paste things, it... Look at all of this. No wonder I wasn't carrying everything. Like, why is my ship so empty? Yeah, that explains why my ship's so empty. So my flagship, is, flagship, my flagship is going to be a little bit quiet for a bit. We're going to test out the Raider class, the Infernums. And that means we need to bring in a few more. It also means I'm obviously going to do a little bit more. Let's do that. that there we go. So if I can get another Infernum down, I'll be happy. Can I get another Infernum down? Please say yes. Okay, the Raiders are moving. As you can see, there is a gaggle of ships. So the raids are going to try and bring down as many as possible. So the infernums are moving. So obviously anything slow is going to be hit. So multiple infernums. I've had to completely literally cannibalise my main ship. But of course right now we have a lot of targets. So several of these are going to go boom, bada boom. Like this bulk of freighter. Which sadly has two cockpits. This is going to be an annoyance to kill. We also have this load spine, which also is a bit annoying, so we're going to have to go to there. Maybe more side thrusters will be needed for this thing, I don't know, we'll have to see. There we are. Go through there, clear that. Good, that's down. That's down. Okay, you need to be hitting from the side now. Go, go, go. So yeah, these things don't really need the big main cannons. I'm thinking side thrusters are probably more important for these. There we are. So, as we slowly push out, we're going to be taking as much as we can each and every time. Obviously, the Raiders are designed fully for claiming ships. They are there as a temporary. But yeah. Maybe we don't need the shield gens. These are designed as, in, as uh, raiders. So we don't really need the ease side things. Well, they can become thrusters. That gives us better maneuverability for the kill. Yeah, there we go. Better maneuverability on the side. So the raider class is going to become better. Oh. Yeah, definitely better side thrusters. There we go. And now I need the beeping to stop. So now we send in the carrier. Which obviously is a little bit slower. We grab all the resources, we pull back, we rebuild the raiders to be more raidery. And we carry on going. Oh, the beeping, guys, the beeping. 
The raiders are moving again. We have loads of these ships. So they are very much not going to like us. I have dropped these down to 14 man crews. Just one big laser, two shields. Obviously the big side thrusters now. So these ships should be good to go. And if not, uh, well, who cares? Honestly. There we go. Okay, we're firing. What are we firing at? We have an initial target, another load spine. Okay, you. Split off. Hit the load spine. You keep going. Go for that target. Now, the side thrust has been obviously now a lot better at actually trying to keep up with targets. This means obviously better targeting. Now, I'm still spending huge amounts of resources on my ships. We now have a last light year. Don't care. What's this one? Courier. Ah, take it out. Why not? It's an easy kill. There we are. So we're currently hunting down absolutely everything. I need more crew. But I think the more raiders we have, the greater chance we'll actually have. Because the raiders, of course, are a modular design. I can switch them back to the original designs very, very easily. So yeah, we're going to start really upping the amount of raiders. The needlers might get replaced by raiders. So the needlers are okay, but if we can get raiders in, we'll be even happier. So the raiders are being... Demoted, I guess. The raiders are being the the, the needles are being demoted. We're gonna get some more raiders on the field. The field. I'm getting weird with my words. So yeah, let's come in, bring the carrier down, grab more supplies because the raiders don't have to resource for the bigger ships, and get more going on. Well done, needlers. You have evolved to the next stage. Although, like I say, two needlers still equals one raider. The beeping is driving me insane, so I've gone off, sold some pl I've over over here, I'm selling supplies, I've even bought more crew. I can't stay here too long, the locals are apparently all the wrong faction. And I'm slowly but surely making lots, a lot of money. Like an awful lot of money. We are getting rich here. We have more supplies, we have more ships. The raiders, like the Infernal Mark IIs are doing super well. They're 14 man, very fast raid assault ships. They are great for business. So, I think we found my calling. I'm just gonna straight up just attack everything. We haven't even finished off this base, it was a mission. I haven't done anything with the mission. But you know, we're here. Okay, the bulk of freighter is the EMP one. Move in. What have you got over these two? Oh, that's faster. They actually all might be, they might be escaping. But yeah, as you can see, I'm enjoying these ships. The raiders are doing a great job. Oh, it's a crate bus, which is a tier 5. Okay, you need to shoot there. So that means you need to go here. There we go. The raiders strike, the target dies. Okay, move to here. Just go, keep going around. There we go. I'm just getting so many targets. Okay, going well. How are you doing? This might escape. This might genuinely escape. The missile launcher ones are actually quite annoying. Not we are killing them. We are. It's taking a while though. Mate. Oh, they hit the cockpit. It just knocks it completely off the targeting. That's insane. But it's working. Oh my god, it's daytime. Let's see, they, uh, they, uh, they've still got issues, obviously. I might need to get the crew back. 
The EMP is definitely causing issues though. Come on, push it, push it, push it. However, the Raiders are doing great. We could be bringing them in. They mark targets. Last light years here. Good. That's dead. Uh, I appear to be missing an info. Oh my god, he's gone far. I don't think we're going to catch this burger. That is really fast. That is too fast. Please be a hyperspace beacon so we can jump in the. Yep, we can jump in the carrier. Yeah, we're killing that off. It's taking a while. It might even escape, but we're killing it. How are we doing over here? You dead yet? Good. Move over to here. Perfect. But yeah, the raiders are working. Look at that. Even if they do take a little bit of damage. Wait a minute, I just said it costs credits to build. Why? I'm not near anything which requires credit. I'm not near a station. What was that? I'm going to check on that. Every update changes things just enough. I don't quite know what's going on sometimes. Like, that's dead. That has lots more resources. That's another marker. That's dead. That's a marker. That's a marker. And that's a marker. Good. So as you can see, the carrier now claims my prizes. Where is the carrier? Oh yeah, it's still selling. The carrier's here. Let's grab more dead. God, the beeping. So I'll be honest, the new Infernium class is pretty damn good. Now I've got three of the uh, Raider Inferniums right now and I'm currently using a frigate configuration. And I'm currently testing if I like the engine room at the back. Like, it uses two more of the crew than it should do. So, obviously, there's two men running here. There's six people on the guns. Obviously, then there's uh, nine people wandering about. Whereas these are 14, there's only two on the guns. So, we'll see how it goes. Genuinely see how it goes. I've currently got a colour scheme going on, as you can see. It's actually starting to look like proper ships. Not a big fan of this bit here. This bit we'll have to see. But, there's now officially a colour scheme for the frigates. Support carrier is carrying a huge amount of stuff. We've killed maybe 20 or so targets. Give or take. We are currently at the stage where if we kill any more, they're going to actually hate us, as you can see. We're currently neutral. Just. But, we're getting there, we're getting there. If we do any more, they're definitely going to be upset with us. Obviously, the station's currently angry. But it'd be less angry, obviously, if we stopped the whole bounty. So we want the wanted to stop, we're just going to simply leave. Because this wanted is not going away. No more bounty hunters will spawn while we're here. So I've definitely found a minor case of an issue. Which, you know, it's good with me. Now one thing I've also found, besides the beeping, is the frigate Infernium is like 35 speed. Uh, without the engine, it is about 50 with it, so it's still quite fast. Obviously not as fast as the two huge thrusters, but the huge thrusters use up a huge amount of power. An absolutely huge amount of power. And I don't really think I need the storage base, we get rid of that. And this obviously this would be a lot lighter, put this stuff in instead. But, uh, let's see, weight is 0.3, this is... Uh, one. So yeah, I can put three of these in for that, but then obviously I'd start losing some of the colour scheme. This entire section here is quite integral to the colour scheme, yeah. I'm literally uh, min-maxing my paint colours as opposed to my combat colours. I mean, my weapons, but you know, 50-50. Outside of that, I think I'm going to have to let these guys be okay with me. We've got to have a huge amount of supplies. Huge amount of supplies. The carrier will be next to be built. I'm beginning to think... I'm not a big fan of this style. I'm going to build it like a sort of like an uh, inverted V, I think, or maybe a W. So it's like two areas, like a big central gap in the middle where the engines and things will be, maybe on a tail, because I am kind of enjoying the tail. And all the stuff will be on the outer edges. I don't know how it's going to look. I'm probably going to have to show you the next one how it's going to look, because I literally have no idea. I'm going to have to brainstorm it myself. But yeah, we have killed about 20 odd ships. We're using as an example. We actually have taken damage. Uh, one of my ships nearly got destroyed. 
Some of the uh, defenders are like tier 7 and 8 have cannons on them. I was not expecting that, so my ships were hit in the side a few times. It's fine. That's why we have raiders. But I'm enjoying the raiders. I'm enjoying where we go with this. I'm also going to change them back from raiders to frigates. Or maybe even corvettes, to be fair. They might probably be corvettes more than anything. And we're going to do a station destruction. Yeah, but next time you see us, we're probably not going to be fighting these guys. Because, let's face it, the beeping makes me want to kill someone. But we can't kill this station because I'll be at war with us. Which, we're not there yet. I want to get to at least tier 10 before we go to war with them. Because that way, that way, there'll be a lot more ships and a lot more combat. So, I am the raider. I am the knight. I'm Batman. Take care. Be awesome. Be epic. And I'll be seeing you sometime. So, look at them all. Three of them over there. Two of them over here. One over here. There's six still hanging around. At one point it was 20. Take care. If you if you stay to the end, piracy is the key phrase. Piracy. Goodbye.